Hi guys, uh, welcome to another Enzo Explains. I've been getting some questions lately about brake pedals being a, a little bit too stiff for some people uh, or questions about how to set them up for different race cars. Um, we try to, uh, our pedals are made to simulate real cars which have quite heavy and stiff brakes. Um, but you can, there's a wide range of options to set them up. For example, we're in an MX-5 Cup car now, which is a race car, but very close to a normal road car. That's why we've installed three wide rubbers, which gives it quite a soft pedal with a lot of travel. And I've set the brake up to be around 25 to 30 kilos, as you would find in a car like this. Um, and then I'll show you a little bit of driving. Uh, some differences when you compare our pedals to, for example, the pedal, the brake in your um, in your daily driver, is uh, quite often people uh, in sim racing race with their socks on, which already makes the pedal feel a lot stiffer than when you use shoes. And there's obviously a difference between left foot braking and right foot braking. So now we're going to come into a corner now with some braking, and you'll see I go hard on the pedal, and it compresses a lot and then slowly off it again. And this brake is it's quite light. It's uh, obviously hard to see in a video how hard I'm braking. Um, but it, this doesn't cost me much effort at all. It's uh, like, like I said, it's a, mostly just a normal road car with quite a light, light brake pedal. Uh, then we'll come into a, probably one of the harder braking zones on Zandvoort. Uh, and we'll switch to a different car now uh, and I'll show you how to set the, the pedals up for that car. We're in a Lamborghini GT3 at Imola now and um, what we've heard from drivers is that GT3 cars, well there's lots of different ones um, and for this one the brake is a little bit stiffer and heavier. Uh, we've, we're using two smaller wide rubbers now and the force is about 40 to 45 kilos. That's still a good amount of travel but um, a lot stiffer. And a huge benefit of running uh, higher kilos, so 40, 45, uh, is that you have a bigger range to control your braking in. Um, I'd say that if you go under 40 or 35 kilos, it's already too light to like, modulate the brakes enough. Um, I'll show a couple of corners. So already coming from the Mazda to this, uh, I noticed that I have to brake a lot harder than I had to in a Mazda. That's why I went a little bit wide. But now one corner on and I'm getting more used to it. We're coming up to the Varianta Alta and it's a quite a hard braking zone. So you stamp on the brakes and then you slowly come off them and back out the corner. For the final two um, corners of, the, of Imola, another hard braking zone. And while it is, 40 kilos is definitely heavier, heavier than, uh, uh, than the Mazda before, uh, it's still easy enough to do it lap after lap. Uh, let's move on to the next car. Now we're in a Formula One car at the Red Bull Ring. Uh, a Formula One car is the top end of the spectrum, obviously. Um, it has a lot of downforce, really strong brakes, and a lot of speed to slow down. <laughs> that's, um, that's why the brakes in a Formula One car are very heavy and very stiff. Um, very stiff means that you can also push on the brake really fast. Uh, we've set it up with uh, a medium and a small green rubber, which makes it quite stiff. Uh, and it's set to 120 kilos, which is a lot. Uh, it's quite heavy to do if you're not used to it. Um, and as you can see, um, there's still a good amount of travel simply because we're pushing 120 kilos. So this is, if you were uh, to press 50 kilos like with the Lamborghini before, you would barely move these two rubbers. But, but because we're using 120 kilos, there's still some travel. Um, and because it's a downforce car, um, the, this 120 kilo load is for a really short time. So I'll show you a couple of corners. It's important to uh, just 
really slam on the brake pedal and get it slowed down as fast as possible. And then once you're slower and you lose all of the downforce, uh, you obviously have to come off the brake slowly. Turn one, hard on the brakes. I was a little bit early there, but you can see it takes quite a bit of effort, but it stops really fast. Really happy braking zone here for turn three. As you could probably see, it's banging on the brakes and then coming off them slowly. Over the years, we've got a lot of feedback from real racing drivers about how they set up their ultimate pedals to feel like their real race cars. And that's what we've tried to show you today. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, sim racing is a hobby and you can choose to do whatever you want. So do you want to set up um, uh, your pedals as realistic as possible, hashtag sim like a pro, or uh, you can set them up the way you prefer to do your hobby. Uh, let us know in the comments which one you prefer. And thank you for watching.